welcome to the Green Apple Home, guys. Uh, so I haven't been throwing up videos lately. I just realized this is probably the worst month to try and do a vlog every month, every day, because my husband has been out of town all week, and then he comes home on this weekend, and then he goes back on Monday to Texas all week again. So <laughs> I'm kind of doing the single parent thing, and so um, I have less time to edit and do other, you know, videos. Anyways, so a lot of people have been requesting a tour of the house. Today I'm just going to do the kids' room. Um, you've seen Boo's room that I redid, like Punky Brewster. I'm going to show you this room. I don't know how detailed you want me to be, but I'll go ahead and just show you how I organized it. And it seems to be pretty maintainable. I actually like this room in the way it worked out better than in my other house as far as a unisex room. Um, I think it works better together than the other room did. So, meh. See what you think. <laughs> when you very first walk in the room, I'm going to turn this light on right here. I like these lights because they're the cute colors that are D's, are going to be D's room. Grandma's going to be moving up here, guys. So when she does, then um, D gets a twin bed of hers. So he'll be out of this little kid bed right there, little toddler bed. Um, so yeah, I am doing less toys. Most of them are books, like maybe two bins full of stuff with pieces. And then um, some more books. So she's going to be starting kindergarten. So she really doesn't need a whole lot of toys anyways. Because she's going to be busy doing homework. <laughs> um, this I had to put in because Dee likes it. A little basketball goal. These blankets match. And maybe that's why I like it better. Because it's more kind of unified. And then they each have a little space that sections off. Oh, this is the boys section. Because it's plaid and masculine. <laughs> and then this is the girls section. Because it's so cute and fluffy. And birds are on the blanket. So I just put the blankets up. Um, those ones are up with a quilt rack. Or quilt clips. These ones I just did tacks. He, did, he leaves them alone though. So that's good. Um, yeah, so it kind of defines. This is the girls area. This is the boys area. In this little dresser, they have their pajamas, socks, and underwear. And then the top drawers are like tights and wife beater shirts for Lee, <laughs> in case he needs something under a shirt. Uh, do you guys want to know what I put in my drawers? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I just switched out the clothes for Briz. So this is her drawer where it's going to be play skirts and like her swimsuit and leotard are going to be in there. And then over here, uh, this is just going to be a jumble of shorts all summer. Because she can put them back herself and doesn't have to fold them. And so, once you put them on, they kind of unwrinkle. So, these are pants. She's only got a few pants. These are the lighter, flowy ones. So, she may wear them in the summer. And then this is D stuff. If I... I may, I might move him to his own room. So, then all that will be going. And right here are some books. You can see what we're, re we're reading. We're reading a little bit of the Children's Illustrated Bible. And then Farmer Boy each night kids like that and so we got the little rocking chair there with the lights so I can read to them while they're sitting on their beds or whatever these are the curtains that were in the room uh, Briz's room in the old house got the little ribbon right there so I didn't have to do a whole lot I didn't have to buy anything I bought these lamps you guys have seen them though because they used to be in Boo's room um, her closet has all her dress ups because that's her dress-ups and her stuffed animals are her favorite things, probably, to get into and mess up. So anyways, this I actually got at Walmart as a card holder wedding thingy. She's played with it so much that the top broke off. But I think I'll use binder clips and, like, put it back on. Uh, extra hanger bins. These bins have, like, gloves and stuff for dress-up shoes. And I actually have two of these dress-up things. I probably need to get rid of some. But... She uses them all. When friends come over, they go crazy. So, um, this is stuff that is winter or the next size. So, the blankets and that are higher so we don't need them. I put some jeans in here. We'll filed away the little jeans. I don't think she'll need them much over the summer. And then, some jewelry. I actually, this was her old jewelry box that broke. And I turned it around and just stuck it in there. Because I was like, well, I could use the hooks. Because I was going to throw it away. I threw the mirror away in the body of it. And then I just, I could always hang this up on the wall if I wanted to. And then a bin. I don't know what this is for. But just in case I need a, a bin for something. She got this for her birthday. It's her little bank. And that's it. This is what she made. They're buttons and pipe cleaners and cake. 
wrappers. They're little flowers. Anyways, that's her closet. And her shoes down there. It's pretty easy to maintain. Her shirts. She has one summer sweater. It's kind of light. And one long sleeve. One quarter sleeve. Or three four sleeves. Whatever you call it. And then um, the rest are just t-shirts and shirts. These are like the outfits that go together. And then she's got some skirts. These are more dressy like... Uh, they're not like the play ones that are in the other one. But if they get mixed up, I'm not going to have a cow. So, and then some dresses. Because she's a dress girl. A dress girl and a swimsuit girl and a leotard girl. If I come home, she's probably in one of those things. <laughs> um, so that's it for this room. I'm probably going to move D over. I'm so excited that he gets a big boy bed. Because a three-year-old, he's like... His legs are like starting to reach the very end of that bed. <laughs> so anyway... All right, well, hopefully I can get some more videos up, even with Neil being gone. This pollen, guys, is driving me crazy. My throat feels like I'm going to, it feels like I have sharp throat, actually. But I think it's just the pollen, because when you see the wind blow, it's like a big yellow cloud, a big mass comes out of the trees. So it needs to rain. <laughs> Anyways, um, hopefully you liked this vlog. There it is for you. All right, we'll see you next time on the Green Apple Home. Foam? <laughs> the green apple home. <laughs>